Make your own tie-dye shirt at home, especially with plenty of time to fill. Hey, this is Jim from TTPM Toy Reviews. I'm filming at home during quarantine, so I have my makeshift studio. So what do I have today? I have the Swirl of Style Tie-Dye Studio. I'm gonna take one of my white t-shirts and tie-dye it. But first, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see new reviews of the hottest toys every single day. First thing you're going to need, a 100% white cotton t-shirt, some plastic wrap, just in case it gets a little messy, scissors, some tape, and an apron. Now, I didn't use an apron, and it was fine, but for kids, it's better to have some protection. Now, you're gonna build your own studio that's only gonna take about a minute or two. Then, you have to pre-wash your white item, but it's already been washed, you don't have to wash it. Then, you have to do the little tie-dyes. This comes with six bottles, and you're gonna put one color in each bottle. Then, in the little booklets, you have a swirl and style. They have different styles of different techniques to make different tie-dye t-shirts. Pick your technique. Also, you have protective gloves that you should wear so your hands don't get stained. So, you wrap up your t-shirt, you then place this in the orb, and you screw with the yellow caps. Once it's in the orb, you put your handle on, and you will attach it to the main setup. Now there's two mixing positions. You have a horizontal mixing position or a vertical mixing position. From there, you add your dyes and give it a good squeeze. You want to use half a bottle. So I gave it some squeeze, half a bottle. You swirl it around a little. The dye really didn't move that much. You know, maybe I needed the t-shirt to be wetter, but I found it was limited the way the dye was spreading. Once you're all set, you're then gonna have to leave it in for six to eight hours. I let it dry for eight hours. I took it out, it was still a little bit damp. And at this point, you have to be aware that the colors might run. So it could take three washings to get it out. You do not wanna wash this with other clothes the first three times. I hand wash it in a sink, in a little tub, and the colors continue to run. At the end of the day, I had a pretty good looking t-shirt. It's back to the 70s. Here are the pros. This is somewhat a fun toy, and you get to create your own cool tie-dye t-shirt. It's an activity that's gonna take quite a while, so it's good for something for a child to do, and you can be quite creative. The cons, it took a lot of time, and when I say it took a lot of time, there was a lot of setup time, and a parent's gonna have to do the setup time. For everything that goes into making the shirt, the shirt was only five minutes. Everything else seemed like it took about an hour. Plus, you can't do another one while it's sitting in the orb drying. So you can only make one at a time. I wish there was a little bit more play to it, but at the end of the day, you get a cool t-shirt. Overall, I give this three and a half out of five stars. And remember, parent supervision and be careful because you do not want to make a mess. If you want to see the latest and greatest of Hot Toys coming out, don't forget to subscribe to our TTPM Toy Reviews.